The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself a prudent to God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, we have a great lesson to be learned from Amos 3.3. Can two walk together unless they have agreed to do so? Exactly, it is applicable for us when we and Lord God, the Holy Spirit, make an agreement to get into the fellowship of him, to learn the word of the Lord, so that we can be a great masterful man to the faithfulness of his word and establish our throne in truth and execute righteousness and judgment, that is, executing righteousness plus justice is equivalent to the holiness of our Lord. Till then, we cannot make a contract in Christ. Dear brethren, the escrow blessings contract which has been given for us graciously in the sight of the Lord is of a very great value and of a very great importance. And we cannot meet those standards until and unless we have a desire for truth, love for God, until and unless we develop an incredible stability, a strength of character. We have that perseverance, that motivation, that momentum, and we do have that sharing the happiness of Christ. The same things what we reflect over here on the earth will be a basis for you to be in the heaven as well. The heavenly blessings for you. That's why desire for the truth and love for God. Until unless you know him, you will not stop bending your tongue for lies. Until unless you know him not, you will not become a master so that you can undo the works of the evil. Until unless you have that faithfulness of record to be kept, you will not come to the reality of the word of the law. And that is what it is happening today in our pulpits. Not enough men to handle, not enough men to stand for the word of the Lord, not enough men to look, because they have not made an agreement to walk. Can two walk together unless they have agreed to do so? They are not agreeing with the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, but rather they are agreeing with the old sin nature to exchange the glory of Lord for a lie. To exchange the truth for some pieces of bread or for some handful of barley. To exchange the truth for some soft haze. Even though their wives have been sent into other men, they are not able to wake up to the reality of the word that it has to be preaching through exegesis, isagogics, and categorization of the word with the proper dispensing technique of dispensations. They are not able to look the reality of the word. And why not the men will perish? Our Lord said, my men are perishing. Why? Because they are rejected the word of the law. A man who have to represent Christ sincerely and perfectly on this earth. Forced to die sin unto death. Then are they not perishing? Why they are not able to enjoy the full life? Why they are not able to go look upon the invisible heroship and get maximum glorification for Christ? Because they have not been taught by their parents the fear of the Lord. That's why. And why will the parents not learn? Because the parents have failed to come to the Bible class when the pastor teacher is teaching them. They need to learn from a bona fide gifted pastor teacher so that they can understand their responsibilities and duties towards their children. It is not just a joke to get married to raise children. Even animals do that. Even animals are giving birth in dozens. But to get one child in God is of a great pain. And that's not possible until unless they make an agreement. Until unless they make the reality of the word to be number one priority for Bible doctrine. And how they can become faithful. How they can become not just faithful, master in faithfulness towards God. And establish the throne in truth. But we make a better agreement in our lives with the old sin nature rather than making a better agreement with the God, with Lord God, the Holy Spirit who indwells in us. If we are making our agreement with Lord God, the Holy Spirit, our deeds will be clearly manifested in the Spirit. And since we are not making our agreement with Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and making with the old sin nature, our deeds are evidently clear. That's why we are not able to grow up. The positionally, the power of old sin nature has been gone, exterminated. 
experientially until unless you reside in the divine dinosphere and make an agreement with Lord God the Holy Spirit you are not going to grow up to the knowledge of the truth and that is what you and I need to know that is what you and I have to look but much of the people are making agreement with the devil in 2nd Corinthians 7 1 what agreement or 6 11 12 13 the end verses of the chapter what agreement that the temple of the living Lord has with the temple of Baal no agreement at all what communion what fellowship you can make with them but we need to make a fellowship with Bible doctrine and the mental ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit and if you are not the never in your life will make to become faithful far less you can become you think you can become a master of faithfulness to achieve an establishment of throne in truth and in holiness think over these issues we shall continue tomorrow father we are grateful for the privilege that was going to fellowship with through the word help us to make an agreement with thy Minister of Lord get the Holy Spirit at each and every millionth of a breath that we take so that we can praise thee to the praise of your glory in your grace. For we ask it in Christ's name, Sovereign Lord. Amen.